question for you. Is pressure stopping you or igniting you? This is Elaine Starling. I'm the Abundance Ambassador and the host of the Abundance Journey podcast and video show. Welcome. You are in for a huge treat today because I bring the best of the best abundance influencers to help you understand how you can just explode your business and explode your life and adore every single moment of your life. Sound good? Awesome. Well, I can't wait to have you meet remote work strategist, Victoria Hepburn. She's an author, a speaker, and a certified business transitions coach. She specializes in remote work productivity and career development. Victoria is so good at helping professionals understand how to create efficiencies in their life and their business. So they're highly visible and valuable to every single person they speak with. And you know the interesting thing about that? What I love that Victoria does, it's so unique. She takes that pressure that you're always under because you're trying to be your best. You're trying to really help your prospects and your clients. And she helps you turn that pressure into fuel that just excites and delights and puts you center stage. Victoria, I'm so glad you're here to join us today. Hi, Elaine. I am super excited to be here. You're, it's just, and that was an amazing introduction. <laughs> you are just <laughs> tremendous. Well, hey, I love chatting with people like you. It just lights me up, obviously, obviously. So I know you're really passionate about this. Could you tell us, you know, why you're so excited to help people transform that pressure? Well, I love how my life works, the flexibility I have, the relationships, the richness that I have. And I've been working from home for over 10 years now. And I, I did it pre-pandemic, which a lot of people are like, what? It existed? Yes. And I did it mostly on very busy, fast-paced corporate teams. And I learned really quickly that burnout and the pain, the loss of relationships, the hurt. And I do this work because there are so many professionals out there who are now working remotely by choice or by force. And they don't necessarily haven't been told the skills that I learned from great mentors and amazing people along my journey because I was in corporate sales. So there's always a mentor. There's always someone to tell you the right way and the not so right way <laughs> <laughs> to do things and yeah. not always in the kindest way, but it helps me. So I want to get out there and help more people get these skills because they're skills. It's not like, you know, a magic wand. It is so interesting that you say that because the biggest challenge I think we all face is you don't know what you don't know, right? Until you learn, you don't know it, right? Yeah. Right. And you just keep hitting a brick wall and you're like, what the heck? I'm doing everything I can do, right? And it's only getting that outside perspective that allows you to discover the skills and the tools that could really help you move the needle. So you're absolutely right. You know, obviously here at the Abundance Journey, we're talking about abundance. As you work with your clients, how do you define what abundance looks like? How does it show up for your clients? I encourage them to look at their life with a triple bottom line, because I deal with business people, right? Everybody knows what the bottom line is. That's, okay, what is the impact of all our effort? What do we, what, what are our results, right? So there's a financial component, there's a health component, and there's a social component. So if you look at your life in a triple bottom line, abundance means that you're earning the money you want, you have the relationships you want, and you're making the impact you want. That's so important. You're right. It's not one or the other. You really need to have all three in order to feel like successful and fulfilled and excited about what you're doing. So thank you. I, I really appreciate that description. So obviously, a lot of people don't know what they don't know, right? So what's kind of the classic sign that somebody is in that space where they could really benefit from a different perspective? So a lot of people come to work with me when they realize that what they're doing working remote, especially leading remotely, isn't working. So maybe they are trying to onboard new team members. They're trying to juggle all the meetings because the meetings are endless. Or <laughs> they're just trying to figure out how to carve out time to do their stuff. 
and still have relationships with the people who make them snort laugh and who they love, <laughs> right? And like, it, it's that juggle. And they're like, I can't do this anymore. They can't hit the proverbial wall. They they might be suffering health consequences of burnout. That's usually when people come and say, okay, I, I, there's got to be a better way. And they find me somehow. <laughs> so Yeah. Boy, what a bummer to have to hit burnout before you get help, right? But often... It takes that because we're so committed and we're so passionate about what we're doing. We're just head down in the trenches and we keep going until we can't go anymore. Yeah. And, and I was that way too. So I don't oh, judge. Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh yeah. So what, what, what is kind of the outcome that people experience when they work with you? What shifts for them? Well, what a lot of my clients, the biggest shift that I take pride in is that they find they have more time. Like, I don't do anything to change their workload, whether they're corporate or entrepreneurial. I don't do anything but help them shift their perspective on their challenge. And that's what the whole thing, My I love change and how we adapt to change. I'm a nerd at heart. And so I like, I use research and lived experience to help accelerate. And that's what they find is they have time, which also they get a new perspective, which allows them to achieve more. So that most of my- <laughs> Yeah. That's so key. That's so key. So, I mean, one of the things that's ironic, right? There's always something inside that we have to be willing to shift in order to get that new perspective. What What is that missing piece that people have to shift? A lot of it comes from how we deal with the demands put on us. Most of us uh, who are high achievers, like I was a 16-year-old valedictorian. I was that kid who was told, oh, you got a 98. What happened to the two points? Like, like I had that kind of upbringing. So if I tend to attract people who have that kind of upbringing too. And I have to help people rewire their relationship with being like people pleasing or helping them rewire their relationship just to how they talk to themselves, right? Because we wouldn't let someone talk to our best friend the way we talk to ourselves. We'd be like, hey, hey there, right? <laughs> That is huge. That is really huge. Self-talk is honestly, I think, one of the key determinants of success in our lives and our level of happiness too. So yeah, you hit the nail right on the head. Now, obviously, everybody would love to be in unstuck and out of that overwhelm and that breakdown yesterday. Yesterday would be great, <laughs> but it doesn't show up like that. There are baby steps to progress yes. so that you get to the other side. What's one or two baby steps that we ought to be paying attention to that shows us we're on the right track? I think the two that I talk about the most when I go out and I do corporate speaking or, you know, or association speaking is one, have a centering practice. Because we're emotionally triggered across our day. Like, I don't know about you, but I had corporate roles where like by nine o'clock in the morning, because I worked with Europe, by nine o'clock in the morning, I felt a little fried. <laughs> <laughs> I needed tools to manage my energy because I had a, I had a seven o'clock with Japan. So I needed to be able to show up and be my authentic self and think the whole day. And it was a centering practice that I had that got me through. Uh, one was body scan meditation before and at the end of my day uh, to get recognize that I'm holding my shoulders right under my ears, that I'm hunched <laughs> over in a stress posture, that I didn't know I was clenching my ankles, like at my feet, but that meditation helped me unclench and give me a physiological relax. Uh, also to clear my head after a meeting where I was told, oh, you're not going to get that and your client's going to be in trouble. And and my life felt like it was blowing up <laughs> to have my uh, the heart math quick coherence technique, which in minutes you can shift from that negative emotion to neutral. Like you can't go to happy from negative, but you can get back to neutral. So you don't take out your rage or your disappointment on the next meeting, on the next people who not only don't deserve it, who will judge you for it, right? <laughs> right, right. Isn't that interesting? And I got to say, you called me on it. And I don't even realize I'm doing it, but I cross my ankles. And I think it's a little um, self, uh, self-nurturing, self self-calming um, gesture. And I don't even realize I'm doing it until my foot goes to sleep. <laughs> so you totally called me out. You know, Victoria, there's so many wonderful things that you're doing out in the world. And you very generously offered a free gift to the audience. Could you tell us a little bit about that free gift? 
Yes. So the free gift I'm offering today to to your viewers and listeners are the next book that I'm releasing. It's unreleased so far. So it's exclusive only to people <laughs> who subscribe to my email list. And I'll give you a link for the show notes. It's called Unlock Productivity and Well-Being at Work. So mm. it's that both end of abundance because we need to be productive to get the results in this fast paced world. But we also need to have our spirits and health intact. So true. So true. You know, one of the things you might not know about the abundance journey, we always turn the tables on our guests because we know that when we give is when we receive. That's truly the ultimate in being able to receive is being willing to give. So what can we do, Victoria, to support you? I, I think the biggest thing is get rep, implement. <laughs> I am on this mission to see more people enjoy their lives and their work, to have their pa passion, purpose, impact, to actually feel it and embody it. Because I know as a, as a corporate veteran, over 20 years in corporate America, and also on my entrepreneurial journey over the last three years, the better heart-centered and purpose-driven people do, it uplifts our planet. Yeah. So I, yeah. that's what I want to see out there. And the interesting thing is it ripples back to you. Just you coming from your highest self and being the best person you can be and, and empowering people to take action and shift things. I mean, I really heard what you had to say. I'm going to activate abundance in just a second here because you said so many gems and I always take notes. I'm like writing all these ideas down that you shared with us today and I can only pick one to activate, but thank you so much, Victoria. Thank you so much. And uh, wow, we're going to be doing some fun things together. I just know it. Absolutely. Thank you so much, Elaine. This was a fantastic experience. Okay. Now stick around because we're going to activate abundance. So you see why I love Victoria Hepburn. I mean, seriously, this lady gets it. She's been there. She's been in the pressure cooker. I'm so grateful. That's step one. Grateful that I have access to experts like this who can give me some really cool tips that will leverage abundance across the board. So number one, step one with Activate Abundance is gratitude. And what I love about this gratitude, it immediately connects our energy. And it's more than your energy connected with Victoria. Your energy is connected to me and connected to Victoria and connected to our networks. And if you haven't checked out my podcast on the three degrees of influence rule, check it out because you are connected to millions of people energetically. This is scientifically proven. And it really makes a difference when you connect your energy with high vibe people like Victoria. So yay, we're connected. That's number one, gratitude. Number two, acknowledge something you heard during the podcast that can really make a difference in your life. And I'm going to own it. She talked about doing a body scan. That is so important to make sure that you are centered and grounded throughout the day so that you leverage your energy and you gain more energy so you can show up as your true authentic self. That's what's most needed is you being you. That's what the world wants. That's what will move the needle. So you've got to manage your energy and that body scan, absolutely brilliant. I want to appreciate the difference it can make in my life. That's step three. Step one is gratitude. Step two is acknowledge. Step three is appreciate. I know that when I tap in and tune into my body and how I'm feeling and where my energy level is, then I can do something about it. I don't have to just keep going and going and going and pushing and pushing and pushing and pounding the coffee and hoping that I'll somehow manage to make it through the next meeting. No, 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 no. I can tap in and I can energetically balance my body again, tap in with the divine and replenish my energy. And it takes seconds, seconds. It takes hours to recover from the burnout, seconds to balance my energy. Brilliant, brilliant reminder, okay? Step four, we're gonna activate abundance. What do we do? We pick a trigger that we're gonna remember to take that action, or we're gonna put it on the calendar. So what I'm going to commit to doing to you, you heard it here first, hold me accountable. Every hour, I wanna get up and stretch and move and do some deep breathing 
and tap into my heart. I want to reconnect with the divine and just know that I am guided in every moment. And what is flowing through me is a message from the divine for you. It's not me getting in the way. It's me getting out of the way. And as soon as I do that, oh man, I feel so much better because it's not all on me. It's through me. Makes all the difference in the world. So step five, celebrate. Celebrate your progress. This is what it looks like when it's working. You get tips, you get connected, you get to collaborate with brilliant people who really, really want you to be successful. Awesome. This is Elaine Starling. Thank you so much for joining me on today's adventure journey. I'm sorry, abundance journey. I don't even know the name of my own podcast. But you know what? I'm so excited. I'm so over the moon. It's no wonder I mess up the words every once in a while. And does it matter? No. You've got the energy you need to have an incredible day and really boost your abundance. I'll see you next time. You've been listening to The Abundance Journey Show with Elaine Starling. Visit theabundancejourney.com slash podcast gifts to access today's gift as well as gifts from our other guests. Tune in every week to activate abundance in your life and business. If something resonated with you, please share it with your friends so they can benefit too. Keep activating abundance and we'll see you in the next episode.